A farmer fenced in an area of his farm that is rectangular in shape. The length of the fence is three-fifths of a mile. The area enclosed by the fence is one-half of a square mile. What is the width of the farmer's fence? Well, we can see by the highlighted terms that this problem is dealing with the area of a rectangle. And we should know that the area of any rectangle is equal to the length of that rectangle multiplied by the width of that rectangle. So what we can do is take any known values in our problem and substitute it inside the formula. The problem says that the length of the fence is three-fifths of a mile. So we can substitute the variable length with three-fifths. The problem also says that the area enclosed by the fence is one-half of a square mile. So we must substitute one-half in for the area. So in this problem, we are not trying to find the area inside the fence because they actually give that to us. So we have to substitute one-half in for the area. Our job is to try to figure out what the width of the farmer's fence is. So we are just going to bring down our variable w. To figure out what the value of w is, we are going to use a little bit of algebra. We are going to isolate the w to figure out what it is equal to. Because we are multiplying 3 fifths by w, there is a little trick that you can do to eliminate 3 fifths and send it over to the other side of your equation. If you simply multiply 3 fifths by its own reciprocal, that will cancel itself out. Because the 3's are the same, or 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 5 divided by 5 is 1, all of these numbers simply can be canceled to the number 1. So really, 5 thirds times 3 fifths is one whole, and that leaves us with one whole w on the right side. But to balance our equation, we have to write 5 thirds on the other side of our equation as well. So now we multiply the numerators, or 5 times 1, which is 5, and the denominators of 3 times 2, which is 6. So now we can see that the width is equal to 5 6 of a mile. Just to check our answer, we should multiply the length times the width to see if we come up with an area of one half. The length in the problem was given, that was three fifths. The width that we came up with was five sixths of a mile. And we can cancel out these fives. And we can also reduce three over six to one half. These fives should be turned into ones. So the product of our numerators will be 1, and the product of our denominators is 2. So we can see that we did our problem correctly. 3 fifths of a mile multiplied by 5 sixths of a mile is equal to 1 half of a square mile. 